sea, stopping fast-moving and lethal threats and performing special maritime operations requires vessels of the highest capability and technology. To counter the current and emerging maritime threats, CBP is acquiring a new high-speed interceptor vessel that will be equipped with sophisticated tracking radar, maritime components, and more speed. To ensure that CBP's future interceptors meet operational requirements, Marine Interdiction Agents will test an Advanced Concept Technology Demonstrator, or ACTD, as part of the procurement strategy. After more than two years of development, the Advanced Concept Technology Demonstrator, or ACTD, came to life in Fort Myers, Florida. After arriving at the CBP National Marine Center in St. Augustine, Florida, the new vessel was immediately put through its paces of high-speed sea trials. The test team is composed of specially trained marine interdiction agents, maintenance support technicians, administrative support members, and dedicated manufacturer support. CBP marine interdiction agents and evaluators will operate the vessel in a series of tests to determine if it is able to handle the rigorous demands of CBP's maritime interdiction missions. Built on a developmental platform, the new vessel is a one-of-a-kind demonstrator designed to test leading-edge technologies in high-performance maritime operations. The ACTD will enable CBP to test the capabilities needed for the most anticipated maritime open ocean threats to the United States. But what you see is not necessarily what CBP will get. The new vessel is being tested to identify operational requirements, which will be used to help identify the replacement of CBP's current fleet of interceptor vessels, known as the Midnight Express, which has been meeting the maritime interdiction needs for the nation since 2001. The new vessel will be longer. The test demonstrator is a 43-foot-long stepped V-haul these steps reduce water friction on the hull at high speeds, allowing it to move faster and more smoothly through the water. The hull was constructed with an 11-foot slip-resistant forward deck, which is flush with the edges of the vessel to allow for ease and stability while boarding vessels. With a 600-gallon fuel capacity, marine interdiction agents can now patrol longer and operate at greater distances offshore. The CBP Interceptor of the future will have the latest in forward-looking infrared technology known as FLIR. The powerful sensor system will have the latest in thermal imaging, laser targeting, and night vision capabilities. The latest in ultra-high definition radar will track and target 30 targets simultaneously, display weather, and quickly draw navigation charts. The innovative T-top allows for 300 degrees of visibility without forward or side obstructions. The latest shock mitigating seats are an important new technology for CBP. These seats will be tested and evaluated, not only for comfort, but also to determine if the seats can actually protect the health of the marine agents by absorbing the majority of the jarring impact on the body suffered when riding in rough seas at high speeds. Many of the new components on this vessel are developmental. A new wireless intercom system and high-end, high-frequency radios are installed for enhanced communications with land, sea, and air law enforcement personnel. To encounter extremely violent threats, the new vessel will be armed with two MK-48 7.62 millimeter machine guns which will be mounted on the port and starboard gunnels. The swing arm mount will allow marine interdiction agents to test the weapon system's ability to engage violent threats from port to starboard up to 170 degrees to validate the requirements for the future craft. The advanced technology installed on the new CBP boats of the future will give CBP marine agents a great advantage at seeing a vessel of interest. But where the rubber meets the road, or in this case where the keel meets the water, it's all about the power and the speed. Four 350 horsepower supercharged Mercury Verado four-stroke engines 
push the vessel across the roughest seas at 65 knots or 75 miles per hour. This added speed will allow CBP marine interdiction agents to arrive on scene faster and apprehend most fast moving threats on the water. The vessel will spend a few weeks in St. Augustine at the CBP National Marine Center, undergoing critical testing and evaluation of all the new components. This will be phase one of CBP's test plan. The next phase of testing will put the vessel in the hands of even more CBP marine interdiction agents to get their evaluation of the new interceptor of the future. CBP Air and Marine is preparing for tomorrow's threats today. By operationally testing the Advanced Concept Technology Demonstrator, CBP is ensuring that it acquires improved technology that will meet operational requirements and will strongly address America's maritime threats. Inside, CBP will continue monitoring the testing of the Advanced Concept Technology Demonstrator as it works its way around the country, operating in various U.S. waters from the Atlantic, the Caribbean, the Gulf of Mexico, Great Lakes, and the Pacific. For Inside CBP, I'm Michael Pope.